Hello there. I'm holding up this J. Looks like a Christmas stocking. It's actually <laughs> a little hat thing, but I love it because today I want to talk about Growing a Joyful Heart, another one of the 12 books of Christmas joy. And that J also reminds me of the Christmas stocking shape. This is kind of big here. And I like to use a lot of things to sprinkle joy into people's lives. So let me first tell you, Pam Farrell, my co-author, and I wrote this book, 30 Weeks of Devotions and Prayers. There's a prayer for each week to develop more inner joy, increase joy in relationships, discover how to choose joy in all circumstances, and how to be a joy sprinkler or a joy giver because we don't just want joy. We want it to overflow so much that we sprinkle joy into people's lives all the time. And that's what these devotions are about. And the interesting thing, you think choose joy in some circumstances can be hard. Pam and I have been through so much. In fact, while we started this book, Pam went into a coma. Now she came out of it, weren't we thankful? <laughs> we rejoiced that she did that. And she thought she'd recover really fast, took a little longer than she expected. But that's okay, because she still chose joy, knowing that God would take care of things, and there would be some great blessings from that. And you know, there's so many things that we've gone through where that has been so true. You know, I went through Hurricane Andrew with five children, two ages two to almost uh, 16, while my husband was away on Coast Guard orders, and we had $99,000 in damage. We were told we couldn't leave because our area code was not going, to, our zip code was not going to be hit. But the hurricane took a 90 degree turn, and I said, all right, Lord, you're gonna take care of everything. And I know you will. I know we have insurance, but you're gonna keep us safe. First and foremost, we were all safe. We even learned to laugh in the morning. In fact, when Daniel finally could come out after we picked up all the broken glass downstairs and one of my daughters was holding him, he looked down and he did a perfect imitation of me to say, clean up this mess. <laughs> and so we could laugh because there's still joy in spite of things. God sent people. One was to me just an angel because I'd only met him once. He came totally took this debris out of the driveway with my children so that we could get the car out of the garage and things like that. And we gave him a loaf of bread, a gift to give angels, right? <laughs> As Gideon did. So that was really fun. But one of the things I also want to mention on joy, but you know, as I said, we just chose joy. And yes, we rebuilt. The house had only been two years old, so it's not like it needed rebuilding. But of course, after the hurricane, it did. <laughs> But what do we find in a Christmas stocking? I like to always compare that this is filled. So we can be filled with joy. We can be filled with God's Holy Spirit. We can be filled with God's love. And we compare what's in the stocking to that type of thing. So I'm going to pull a few things out that are can be in stockings. A guitar pick. That's to help us bring wonderful music of joy, to fill joy, our hearts with joy. Might even be a card or a note from someone you love that wants to just help you feel that love in your life. There can be stress relievers of different types, this little ball here, because we need to get rid of the stress to help us have more joy, don't we? And there are ways to do that that we talk about also. A little rocking horse, which in my case, my late husband was did woodworking, and he loved making rocking horses for children. So a rocking horse ornament is kind of a fun thing to get. Anything that can be a memory of a loved one that makes us smile again. <laughs> Something silly looking like this silly little pencil. It's got a smiley face if I can get to the right place on it. Okay. That just again makes us kind of laugh or jewelry can be fun too because look at this one. It's a dove. And that's just such a reminder that we are filled with the Holy Spirit. The dove as a gem can also remind us of the gems of wisdom that the Holy Spirit gives us, or maybe something handmade, like this kind of fun little puppet where we have a little joey popping up and we've got a dancing <laughs> kangaroo. So whether it's a kit or an actual craft 
or something that's just colorful to remind us that God, God's love colors our world when we let him do that. All of those things are fun at Christmas time to add joy to someone's life. And that's what I love doing always. <laughs> Pam can tell you she was recovering from everything and I sent her a joy box with things when she opened that just popped up and did all sorts of stuff because that's a fun thing to do when you want to say to someone, I love you, I care about you, I want you to get better and have joy while you're at it, while you're recovering. So just remember that. And if you want to win a copy of this book, just put something in the comments or make sure you go to the freebies on the Christmas Joy Shop. If you just go to my website, karenwhiting.com, click the Christmas Joy Shop at the top of the buttons, you can then scroll down to where all the freebies are, sign up for that, and you'll be entered into these drawings that have just started. I'll be posting the first winner later on this evening in the comments section. So thanks for stopping in and make sure you get some books that will bring joy to your life or as gifts to bring joy to other people's lives this Christmas because joy helps make the world go round. Thank you so much for coming in and I'm going to end this stream. So 